So I've been messing around with this drill now for quite a few weeks to try and actually truly test it to make sure it is as good as it appeared to be on the first five minutes of use. Now, with multiple modes, which proves pretty cool. So you've got those three modes there, as you can probably see, and uh, simply selected. So you can just choose those modes. Nice solid click there to that. And then of course you've got the amount of power that you want to put in. That's really, really good for torquing up. If you don't want to over tighten something, that is pretty neat to be fair. So it's along the lines of what we've been used to using over the last few years, this Dewalt has lasted a long time. You can see a similar profile, similar sort of, sort of height to that. Uh, it is lighter, so for one-handed operation, this is a lot lighter. This is a 12 volt Dewalt and this is a 20 volt drill. So it gives you a little bit more torque, shall we say. And the battery life has well, been outstanding. So it's, it's, I've only put it on charge a couple of times, so it's lasted a very, very long time. And of course, you've got all your, your lights along here, signifying the your, your battery level, essentially. So you can tell how fully charged it is. So you've got green, amber, and red for when it's low charge. Very quick to pick up, so incredibly torquey. It shuts off quick, there's not any overrun. Just works. Pretty cool. Simple forward and backwards, just like you're used to with your drills. So you've got locked. So if you want to put it in your kit bag, it's just locked. It's never going to come on accidentally. Reverse and forwards. Simply select with one hand. So all one-handed operation. Uh, having the light under here, lighting up into what you want to have a look at, I find that pretty useful. As you can see here. Uh, you can see very controllable. So you've got your slow pinch is slow turning and the more you increase it, so it's completely variable all the way through the trigger pull to maximum. So pretty neat. At the top here, you've got your torque settings. So you've got one or two. So obviously one is a lower gearing. So a slower spin, but a higher torque. And you've also got a second. So it's, it's, as a feature set on this, it is incredible. Um, it covers everything. The battery release is no, there's no screws holding it on either. It's just quick release, it clips in. Really, really nice. What I would like to see is some rubber surround on the battery pack, just to make it a bit, bit more robust. It hasn't broken and it hasn't been dropped though at the same time. So not in the habit of doing that, but you can test your battery level on the battery itself. So when it's on charge and you can see the battery cells in here. So actually this pack, you could service this pack if you wanted to, but it gives a battery readout. Really, really simple to plug in. Literally plug it in like that, straight forward. You've got a little hook on the back here. Can't see that being ultra strong uh, for putting it on a lanyard or anything. You can probably see it snapping. Nothing's rubberized here. This is rubberized though. So this whole grip area right up across to here is all rubberized, really grippy. And the same across here. So for the drill itself falling on its side, you've got a rubber cover here. So this is all rubber. The back's rubber as well. So that adds to a bit of impact resistance. But we found it really, really handy for the torque settings, um, for putting screws in, not to over tighten, etc. And it's been working spot on. We've got a little magnetic side along here as well. Um, it just, um, it ticks all the boxes really. And being lightweight, one-handed operation with the D-Welt has always been a bit, I know you can get smaller D-Welts, but it's got the feature set of the D-Welt in a smaller, lighter package and at considerably less money. So I'd definitely go and check it out. If I was you, so far so good. Obviously, if anything goes wrong in the next few months, then I'll report back. But otherwise, it is what it is. It's what you see. Uh, but it has got a huge amount of features available on this drill. Um, and there will be another video review as well. This battery pack actually goes into a nittle. Like an, and when I mean nittle, I mean nittle leaf blower. Um, basically, this slots in. And we've also got a leaf blower by Kimo as well. So we'll show you that, it takes the same batteries. Quick one before I go, you've got a handy little carrying bag with it. In there comes the charger, I'll better show you. Unfortunately for us, it was the European one. So I had to put a UK spec charger on it, but nonetheless, it works. It's for all countries anyway, it's not gonna blow up. Really, really simple. That just slots in, Let's put that down. Just slots in and you just charge it up, easy as that. That's that out of the way. Um, but you can also get a manual if you really wanted to read through that. Not only that, you get a couple of accessories. So this goes straight into the chuck, gives you a multi-angled ability to screw 
undo, etc., etc. A whole set of drill bits, uh, a mounting bracket for hanging it up, and a, what I can't find now that we've been using a lot of is a pack of tools. So you've got the outer packs of tools, comes in a little rubber pocket. You've probably seen it. Have I got any more lying around here? No, I haven't. But you would know the ones I'm talking about. They come in a little set, rubberized set. So you get everything you want to start. So if you're looking for a present, a gift for someone, then definitely check this out for its price. Um, it's been epic. And we've been using it in an industrial environment in terms of servicing stuff. Uh, and it's been working fine. I mean, yeah, the expense of the Dewalt versus this. This has done really, really well. So well impressed with it. So I will see you on the next one. This is only a quick video review, really, just to show you this drill that we were sent to review. Um, we could say it's rubbish. We could say it's brilliant. It was left to us and been using it in a commercial environment. It's been spot on. Haven't been using the carry bag, but there is one there anyway. As a gift to someone's DIY person, say, rather than full on builder, then definitely, definitely consider this. Check it out. We've had a hands-on version of it. So we've been, we've been drilling, um, we've been screwing with it. It's been brilliant. So yeah, go and check it out for sure. Give it a go. Any questions, then comment below and I'll try and answer them for you. Um, and I'll see you on the next one. Probably the leaf blower we'll do next on this. Once there's a few more leaves that have fallen down.